Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me Sahil Jagtiani where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene and in today's episode we've got the Stridum Magna Telepop guitar. Is it good for pop? Is it good for rock? Pop rock? Pop rocks? Those are quite tasty you know. Mm. Anyway before we get into it make sure you please click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Your patronage matters to us you know the more subs we get the more we're going to create content for you, the more you interact with us, you know, it makes it more worthwhile for us to create more content. So if you want to see more videos, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell. So this beautiful snappy guitar, the Stridum Magna Tele Pop. It really pops out, you know, it's like a matte black finish. It's got uh, a beautiful red uh, tortoise shell uh, pig guard. It's a classic Tele, but in a more modern looking format. Uh, it's got the three barrels, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fabulous according to me uh, at first glance. Here are all the specs of this instrument. So those were the specs of this instrument, okay? I'm gonna go more into detail about what I think about the specs and everything else a bit later. Okay, let's just get to the playthrough. Uh, we've got Ashwin in the house. He's gonna go into our usual Pliny plugin. Clean, crunch, high gain, let's get to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
What did you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Here are my thoughts on this guitar, okay? We did an unboxing. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, okay? I was shocked when I opened the guitar to find so many accessories, an excellent gig bag, okay? A tuner. Um, I think there was some plectrum, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a high-end cable, not those, you know, rubbish Chinese uh, plastic cables with which break after a few uses. This was a proper, proper cable with, you know, um, metallic connectors, fantastic, okay? This product reminds me a lot of the Harley Benton uh, TE series guitar. I reviewed a TE uh, a tele guitar from Harley Benton, I think it's up here, go check it out. Um, was extremely satisfied with that instrument, okay? Had to sell that because, you know, we move things along in the show, we don't keep them for long over here. But, 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 I was missing it. I was like, yeah, I wish I had a, I wish I had a, you know, slab, one of those telly slabs. And this is it. And that one was between 20,000 to 25,000, okay? This is on sale, I don't know for how long, I think the only tele, Telecaster guitar that's currently available on the marketplace uh, in that range, even up to about 12,000 is the Vault. Uh, I think that's like 10,000 something. And that's not that great. I've not heard great reviews on it, but I shouldn't pass judgment, okay? Uh, maybe one day I'll do that against this. But again, that's not a Tele, that's got like a humbucker in, in the bridge. So it's a very different beast. This guitar gives you that Tele quack. There are some weaknesses to it. Don't expect it to play like, uh, you know, a classic vibe instrument, but it's on par with uh, most of the affinity uh, tellies that I've played. I mean, those ones had horrible necks. Okay, to be very frank with you, this looks beautiful. This matte finish is gorgeous to play with, okay? The neck is just amazing, okay? The overall aesthetics are fantastic. If you are a hardcore metal player, just put a, you know, like a, a hot rail in the in the bridge position, you know, one of those tele hot rails from Seymour Duncan, just put one in there and you've got a metal machine and it look amazing, okay, on stage. The three barrel system is not my favorite, but it holds its, uh, you know, it holds its tune on this, okay. Um, it's not the best for intonation, but it's okay, it does its job. No complaints with the electronics, okay, they work good, they work smooth. Um, love the aesthetics of everything. The pickups are not fantastic, but they're not bad. They get the job done. Compared to the T Harley Benton, which is 20, 25,000 bucks for 10,000 rupees, you're getting a very similar sounding instrument, okay? Mm, the tuners are not the best, but you know, uh, that's what you're gonna get, you know, at this price range, to be honest with you. You're not gonna get the best of the best tuners in the world. Just, just spend three, four thousand bucks and put some brilliant locking tuners on it, and you've got a, you've got an incredible instrument. Personally speaking, other than the tuners, I don't see much need to mod it. Okay, maybe change the string trees to Graftec ones because I do that on all my guitars. Maybe I'll mod it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'll see I, as time goes by. Maybe I will resurrect this guitar as something else. But if you're a beginner. Or if you're a Strat player looking for a Telecaster, there is nothing under 10,000 rupees except for this. And even then, this will probably be raised in price to about 10,000, whatever it is, you know, a little bit above, uh, less than 11,000. So my suggestion is, while it's on sale, buy it. Just buy it, okay? Don't think about it too much. It's a beautiful playing instrument. There are no fret ends. That's what shocked me. That really shocked me and plays beautifully well. It was not set up because it came straight from the factory to me. So, yeah, Magna has knocked it out of the park with this one. Telepop from Stridum, the Magna Telecaster guitar. Thumbs up, man, you've got my hands up.